Welcome to the Blockchain Report, your daily rundown in the latest of crypto. My name is Taylor Nikolai. Today we're going to talk about the Telegram Open Network. What is Telegram? Each day, Telegram delivers 70 billion messages across its distributed network. Telegram is the brainchild of Russian entrepreneur Pavel Durov. Before Telegram, Durov created Russia's most used social networking website, VK, before being ousted as CEO of the company in 2014. Durov then went on to create Telegram. Telegram is an incredibly popular encrypted messaging app, which Durov describes as hack-proof. Latest reports of Telegram estimate that the number of users of the app to be around 180 million. According to Bloomberg, 40 million of those users are from Iran alone, which makes sense given the fact that the entire purpose of Telegram is to allow for secret communication between people. Telegram would probably be most popular in countries with restrictive governments, which punish dissent and dissidents. For example, Russia has taken significant measures to block access to Telegram, according to The Verge. This resulted in blocking 50 internet VPN services and blocking 15.8 million IPs on Amazon and Google Cloud platforms. Telegram is still seeing massive growth, with about half a million people signing up to use it every day. Durov appears to be steadfast in ensuring the privacy of many things surrounding Telegram. The locations of Telegram servers are unknown, as well as the names of many of Telegram's employees. Durov also refuses to let Telegram be bought out by a larger company. He told Bloomberg, even for 20 billion, Telegram is not for sale. Now let's discuss the Telegram Open Network. According to TechCrunch, Ton is a blockchain-based platform platform that extends the messaging app to include a few different things, including distributed file storage akin to Filecoin, a proxy service for creating decentralized VPN services and Tor-like secure browsing environments based on the blockchain, services for decentralized apps, smart contracts and decentralized web browsing experiences, and payments for micropayments and peer-to-peer -peer transactions. There are conflicting stories as to why Telegram canceled their public ICO, but the most likely story is that they just simply raised enough money from private investors. Also, extending the ICO to the public would invite significant regulatory scrutiny from governing bodies like the SEC. So what does this mean for most investors who didn't get access to the ICO? Well, it means that most people won't have access to Telegram's Gram token until it reaches cryptocurrency exchanges. By the time the token gets released on exchanges, chances are it'll have a significantly higher valuation than it currently does right now. According to TechCrunch, a second market outside of cryptocurrency exchanges has already been created for buying and selling the token. For example, there was one investor who bought a ton of tokens at 37 cents. Then he went around and sold them for $1.30. That's about a 300% return on investment. Telegram knows that this type of thing is happening, but they say that there's nothing that they can do. So what are the downsides of TON? Despite the hype surrounding the token sale for TON, it has also received some significant criticisms from institutional investors and analysts. Charles Noise, principal at Pantera Capital, has referred to ton as 600 million tons of crap. Get it? Tons? Like, it sounds like tons? <laughs> In an article, Noe states, Telegram is a nice messenger app, but it is neither as secure nor as trusted as Signal. Telegram, or Tun's 132-page white paper, says nothing substantial about the hard parts of designing a decentralized protocol. It is essentially a wish list of things they want to have, and how it will work assuming that their wish list doesn't crash and burn. If that wasn't enough, MIT Technology Review stated, The encrypted messaging company's plan is bold but short on details. There are no details clarifying how tokens will be distributed how the network will make decisions and handle disagreements, and how much control the company will maintain over those processes. Although Telegram's blockchain dream may make sense at first glance, many cryptocurrency experts will be skeptical until the company clarifies how it intends to solve some big technical and economic challenges. It seems that well-known VC funds are divided over the ICO. According to Recode, Andreessen Horowitz and Union Square Ventures decided not to invest in the Telegram ICO. In contrast, also well-known funds Sequoia and Benchmark did participate. Another potential problem for the Telegram ICO is that they've raised so much money that the moment that the token actually reaches cryptocurrency exchanges, it might be at a very inflated valuation. Many funds could decide to sell their tokens as soon as the token hits massive exchanges in order to realize a relatively safe profit. 
meaning that people who buy on the exchange would be left holding the metaphorical investment bag. There are definitely some benefits to the Telegram ICO compared to other ICOs. For example, the founder does have experience running a large company, as well as the network effects of Telegram. At the same time, there are also some legitimate criticisms of the Telegram ICO. Critics say that the white paper is light on technical details and doesn't explain how it'll accomplish everything that it sets out to do. Furthermore, critics say that the Telegram team has raised much more money than necessary and is taking advantage of the fact that people want to get involved with anything relating to Telegram. This could lead to an inflated valuation and leave retail investors holding the bag. Thanks for watching the Blockchain Report. My name is Taylor Nikolai. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest crypto news and trends, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Blockchain Report. We'll see you next time.